Okay, question number two. In the diagram on the right, this is the diagram. G, H, H, K and K, L are straight line. Point H lies on the X axis. H lies on the X axis. So it means its Y is zero. G, H is parallel to G, uh, G, H is parallel to K, L. So G, H and KL are parallel and HK is parallel to the Y axis okay. HK is parallel to the Y axis to indicate that the two lines are parallel given the equation of GH is 2X plus Y equals 6 State the equation of the line HK. Okay, so A is the equation of HK, this line. Okay, so we have learned that equation of the straight line is Y equals y, y equals MX plus C. But that is not true for all cases okay so if it's little bit slanting so the straight line will be y equals to mx plus c the other way y equals to mx plus c but then whenever we are talking about like this the straight line is like that only the equation will be limited to x equals something something i do not know at the moment that is the what is the value of x that we know is there so in order to know so the equation will be x equals something at the moment i do not know anything about h or k but then looking at the line gh i know i can find the value of h that is i know i can find the value of x for H because why I already know okay so since I know already the value of Y is zero I just substitute so I say 2x plus 0 equal to 6 so 2x will be equal to 6 so x equal to 6 over 2 which is 3 so the line of HK is x equals to 3 and what does it mean by x equal to 3? So, in, in the sense that all the values of x on the straight line is 3. Here could be if there is 1 here. So, the coordinate here will be 3, 1. If there is 2 here, so 3, 2, and so on and so forth. So, k... I know the x will be 3, the y I do not know. And then whether it's relevant or not, that is another, another matter. And for your info only, um, so maybe it's not relevant to the question here. If you are given 2x plus y equal to 6, and if you change this equation to become y is negative 2x plus 6 make it into what we call gradient form so the gradient for gh will be negative 2 and the, the y intercept is 6 so coordinate of g will be 6 or the coordinate is 0, 0.06 Okay, so that is our only additional info which is not relevant to uh, the question here. So B, uh, so what is the question for B? Determine the equation of the straight line KL and state it's the x-intercept. Okay, so we want to find KL, equation for KL. So because this is a straight line, and it is not parallel to the y axis or parallel to the x axis 
So the equation will be y equals mx plus c. So we have to to find m, the gradient. So is it possible to calculate by itself? We have we know k. The x for k will be three, but we do not know the y. And then l we know ten negative four. So is it possible to find the gradient uh, of kl by itself? No. So what are the things that we have known so far? That two lines that are parallel they have same gradient. So KL and GH are parallel. So OK, and this is GH. As I mentioned earlier, the gradient is negative 2. So the gradient of GH is negative 2. So the gradient for KL, gradient for KL is negative 2 also. Okay? So if the gradient are equal, are they having the same? Or is the equation also the same? Of course not. Okay? So why not? Because C are not shared between GH and KL. So this is KL. If I will extend, I will meet the y-axis somewhere here. So the value of C will be different. So how do we find the value of C? There is a coordinate on the set line KL. So we substitute X and Y in the equation and substitute the M as negative 2. So we have negative 4 equals negative 2 times 10 plus C. It becomes negative 4 equals negative 20 plus C. So... 20 minus 4 equal to C. So C will be 16. Uh, the equation will be, therefore, the equation is Y equals negative 2X plus 16. So the intersection here will be at 16. So that is the uh, equation of the seed line KL. But then there is another that is state the X intersect. Take the x intercept. Uh -huh. So we see we have equation like this. We found the x intercept. This is also x intercept. But this is x intercept for the gh. So we have to do the same thing. That is for the x intercept for the line kl, it will be this point. So the value of y is also 0. Okay. So to just replace y and 0, so we say 0 is negative 2x plus 16. So I move negative 2x, become 2x equals 16. So x is 16 over 2, which is 8. So the x intersect is 8.